to do is write fiction. And I love that I get to do this, and it's weird that I'm doing it, given that I started with this background in, in neuroscience. But what I love about it is that I get to take these topics that are either scary, like Alzheimer's, or obscure, like left neglect, and bring them to a wide audience of people who are might pick up a novel, but might not ever pick up a book about neglect. So it's a, a fun way to, to sneak into neuroscience education among people who might not otherwise read anything about that. So what the heck is the story going to be about? Um, so I started thinking about this, what this brain condition is. So here we have this bizarre, extreme form of inattention caused by a brain injury, right? But then I started thinking about it as sort of a metaphor, you know, for all the ways that we as a culture now pay, don't pay attention to so many things and call it normal. Um, I think that we're living a very distracted life these days. Um, we've got technology, which is fantastic, right? We can, we can send out emails and texts and leave voicemails and have three screens open on the computer at once and we can get so much done in a day. We can multitask, right? We're, we're proud of this. I can do five things at once. But when you have your attention spread that thin, you know, your brain isn't equipped to pay attention to five things at once. We really want to pay attention to one thing at a time. So when your attention is spread out at that thin, what are you missing out on? Um, if you're, you know, I started thinking about, you know, I'm a working mother, I have three kids, um, and I had two while I was writing this, I was pregnant while I left neglected, so I delivered a book and a baby last year. <laughs> um, but I, it, especially if you're a working mom, I was thinking, because, you know, that's my experience, like, God, it can be really distracting to live this life. I'm trying to do so many things at once. Um, I have a to-do list a mile long, I never get to the end before the end of the day. Um, and it's, you know, especially as a woman, trying to sort of this idea of trying to be it all, have it all, do it all, um, it can be exhausting and distracting. I started thinking about relationships and how I think we all have relationships in our lives where um, there's been a fight or a disagreement or something awkward there that would probably be a good idea to pay attention to. You know, I should really call my mother and talk to her about that. Or, you know, I'm really going to talk to my husband before we go to bed tonight and settle this. Um, but, you know, it's sometimes easier just to ignore it and not pay attention to it. And then the time goes by and the distance grows. Um, I think the biggest way that we're distracted today and not paying attention to what we're supposed to be paying attention to is this epidemic, I think, of people distracted driving. Um, cell phones in the cars. I see it every day. What's wrong with that car in front of me as you go by and the other person's on your cell phone not paying attention to the road? And so I started seeing this character. Sarah is a 37-year-old working mother of three. She has a high-powered job um, in Boston that requires a lot of hours of travel. And um, she is living a distracted life. One day on the way to work, she's on the mass pipe, um, and she decides to she has no kids in the car, and she's early for work. She's got a little bit of time for the first time in a while, and she decides to make a quick work phone call. Takes her eyes off the road for a second too long and crashes the car. Sustains a traumatic brain injury and ends up with left neglect. <laughs>